crazy you know, stuff. The whole gay frogs and everything. And like, like, yeah. Taking shots. It's yeah. some crazy stuff. He doesn't help his case, I guess is what. Yeah. For all the perhaps maybe 95% of the stuff that's true that he says, the other stuff that I, I what's crazy is it seems like he does feel like he comes with proof mm-hmm. on all the crazy stuff that he says. So in the way, you got to give the guy credit because he's doing way more effort than any most 99% of people are that will find out things about for themselves mm-hmm. with the effort he's going about it. Long story short, hate or love him, the guy had the most popular podcast on Apple, I believe, at that time. The most number one uh, uh, watch or listened to and downloaded, I guess. Wow, that's huge. Number one. Yeah. And... I think it was like within 24 hours or within 48 hours, he was taken off all of the major platforms without any actual consent. For what? What? It, why? What was the reasoning? Well, I guess their reasoning was th- there was no reasoning until later on when after it obviously became big news. Within a week, every YouTuber was doing a story on on the situation because. Because of somebody that big getting deplatformed. Yeah, were they saying he like was um, I, generating hate speech? Basically, or? yeah. Basically, yeah. They hit him with the whole hate speech, of violence, falsifying information, or just giving incorrect information that's uh-huh. detrimental to the public. Um, and so, and and he obviously went against some topics that across the board some good stuff but then he went for some other heavy hitters that obviously as a reporter that's what you want to go for mm-hmm. but those are the ones that you, they're going to really get you for so with the corona stuff um he did a bunch of stuff with like obama and um michelle uh i mean it, this is just i'm scratching the surface on and it's very unpopular ideas the government all that stuff at this point, if a guy if a guy like him with his setup and his following can just get the platform like that, and their justification goes because um, misinformation. Yeah, but what if it, it is you know dangerous misinformation that's inciting people to violence or something? You know, do tech, technology companies or you know social media companies? So how do you draw the line for that? Like, what do you qualify as? I mean, if you're, misinformation is dangerous, that's going to start s- starting wars and whatnot. Well, if you're, you know, uh, leveling allegations against people without, you know, proof, and then you know people get inside it, like you say, someone's like, uh, you know, a pedophile or something, and then people show up at his house and like, you know, yeah, ready to whoop some pedophile yeah, ass and like, you know, yeah, attack him or you know, or even shoot him or something. No, like I, that, I, you, you know, know, that, that to me, I think is the person who like is essentially is spreading those rumors. I think they should be held liable. But see, here's the thing. Do you know who are the people flagging these videos as they come up and start become popular and trending? Um, I mean, people who disagree. Yeah. Well, I'm specifically referring to within the Facebook team. So they ha- they have this, sec- this area I guess they call them fact checkers. Mm. And these fact checkers evidently are regular ass people like you and I. No, oh, yeah. Okay. So. I think I've actually experienced that on one of my uh, promo pro- profiles once. Yeah. So you're telling me that some random Joe Schmo, I don't know, let's just paint the picture, some young 25 year old something sitting in their living room now because we know everybody's working from home Mm -hmm. and they got their own prerogative they got their own storyline they got their own whatever and they see something that starts to trend and they're one of the fact checkers for that that day for that region and they don't like the story but they see it's getting a lot of positive reviews and people are raving about it it's getting shared like crazy they found out within the inside so this is actually happening right now, okay? Um, Louder with Crowder, one of the most popular YouTube channels on YouTube. Are you familiar with it? Mm-hmm. Uh, politically driven. They are now suing Facebook right now, just started, due to insider information that they found out that fact checkers, if you can even call them that, were deliberately 
going out of their way to delete and take off of the the um, your browse feed when you go in like the major one that shows for whatever's popping at that day and basically it was like almost 99 percent right right leaning and um political ideas Mm -hmm. so you basically had this huge one-sided situation where all of these very very popular right leaning channels were just we're talking like Ben Shapiro. We're talking a lot of a Crowder who are getting shared for the week, their videos sometimes two on the top 10 of all of Facebook. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you had your channel and you guys shared two of your videos that day, the most in the top 10, and you're competing against everybody on Facebook. Wow, that's nuts. And they are stopping those posts from continuing going extra viral because they're just like they're just so offended that somebody would think that way they're so offended not only they're but it's getting popular people other people think that way so it's supposed to be like you know unbiased independent you know fact checkers you know who are only stopping and even that like like and even if it was like that let's just say they weren't banning the right the whoever was right leaning politically just because they don't like it let's just say that wasn't happening What are they there to fact check? Well, I mean, if, yeah, there's a a lot of misinformation being spread. And that's fine. But but don't you think that if it was all organic the way that it should be, the world as a whole would just either point and laugh at it or take it seriously, and it would either get popular or unpopular. But either way, we know what this thing is about. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, like, it's so hard to tell what's actual real information and what's been doctored. Correct. That that I can agree. All right. Thanks for watching this clip from Appropriate Culture. If you want to watch the full episode, go ahead and check out us at appropriateculture.com. You can also check us out on social media platforms at Appropriate Culture. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.